process of muscle contraction begins with the stimulation of muscle cells by nerve cells. The axon terminal of a motor neuron is illustrated here. Also shown are mitochondrion inside the axon terminal, synaptic vesicles containing acetylcholine, and the synaptic cleft. Sodium ions between the muscle cell fiber and the synaptic membrane will soon depolarize the muscle cell. But first, calcium ions outside the axon terminal must enter it. An action potential arrives at the presynaptic terminal, causing the calcium ion channel to open. Calcium ions enter the terminal. Next, synaptic vesicles release a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft. The acetylcholine, which is a vital part, will then bind to the receptors on the muscle cell membrane. This opens channels for sodium ions to enter into the muscle cells and to polarize them. Depolarization allows for a postsynaptic action potential to travel across the muscle cell membrane, which is necessary for muscle contraction. Now, finally, acetylcholine is broken down into acetic acid and choline by the action of the enzyme acetylcholine asterase. The choline, which is one part that's broken down, is reabsorbed into the axon terminal and enters synaptic vesicles with acetic acid. This process, which happens in a fraction of a second, is now complete.